everybody. How's it going today? I just uh, had to drive into work. I live in a little uh, satellite town outside of a bigger city. And uh, that's what kind of what uh, today's video is about. Day six, quitting alcohol. Sometimes you just have to do things you don't want to do so that you can do things that you do want to do. So, for instance, this week I'm on vacation, but I don't have enough vacation days to have the whole week off straight, five days. But I have enough if I work from home two hours a day, three hours a day. I can have the whole week off, stay at home, work from home. But unfortunately, there was a VPN update and my laptop wasn't accepting it and it didn't work. And I thought, hey, this is just like quitting alcohol and, and uh, setting up your life, life for success. You know, there are a lot of things that when you quit alcohol, you're going to probably find out you need to do to uh, be successful at it. You might uh, find that some of your friends are not uh, conducive to staying sober. So you're either going to minimize contact or you might end contact with those friends. It's not something you want to do, but if, if you want to uh, be a sober person, then uh, that's what you have to do. Unless, you can unless you're strong enough that you can just go to the bar with your friends, not have a drink, have a good night, go home. But chances are there's gonna be a lot of pressure because people are just hardwired They're to uh, think that you should be drinking and just because they are, and just because normal people drink alcohol. What's the matter with you if you don't drink? there's other things there might be situations where you're at work and you need to go for a drink after work you need to meet people um, you know there's some sales positions etc where there's alcohol what if you're uh, working in a liquor store you need that money you still need to work but maybe you need to find a different job so you're not exposed to that course you know do your own due diligence and you know do what's right for your situation maybe at home there's something where you need to clean out of your house liquor glasses I have a wine fridge at home that we use primarily for my wife's uh, coconut coolers which I've already explained I can't touch because I'm allergic to coconut even though I don't think it's real coconut we don't have wine in it, we have diet pop, stuff like that. Now I wish I hadn't installed that fridge when we built the house, but it's there and it's a good selling feature. One little perk, you know, for someone that's gonna buy the home in a couple years, so. But there's things like that that you can do. So just remember that, you know, you might have to make some hard choices and you might have to make those changes, okay? Hope everyone has a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.